Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we do actually get on with the night part of this LP, I've got a couple of things to update you upon. First of all is the resolution change. I've decided to change the resolution from 1080p all the way down to 720p because of two reasons. One, because of the amount of space it eats up my hard drive on my laptop. And two, the amount of time it renders and the amount of time it uploads on YouTube. It really is a nightmare, so that's why I decided to downscale it to 720 Still, at least it's HD, and at least it's better than nothing. And two, I decided to off-screen some, some of the challenges on both the arenas and the space battles, as well as off-screening getting some of the skill points. Mostly due to the fact that I don't really want to be putting up some filler, or even doing some random moments that nobody doesn't want to really watch. And I just wanted to get this LP done as quickly as possible. So without further delay, let's get on with our regular schedule program, shall we? And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're at Slim Cognito Ship Shack. Now, the reason why you can get, visit the Ship Shack is in order to upgrade not only your weapons on your ship, but also mod your ship to either be faster, either to have a little bit more airborne, or even change the colour of it, providing you have enough raritanium. And before anybody knows, yes, I've decided to off-screen one of the challenges in order to get some... off-screen the uh, challenges again just to get some raritanium. As in order to upgrade the ship. Well, with that being said, let's get the triple boost acceleration engine, shall we? Okay. All the fusion laser cannons or whatever. Right, so go for the uh, cannons. Oh, we got the torpedo launcher as well. But we're also going to change the colour of my lovely little ship. Not back orange? Sure, why not? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Ooh, lovely. Looks better now. All right, with that bit, without further ado, let's get on with Cer let's get to the frozen base of Cerberus and no, no, no frozen base Cerberus. Right, with that being said, let's go and confront the thief and get that experiment back. Ugh, this th sorry for the delay for this part, but it's been a lot. My life's really been dragging on quite a bit, and it's really delays quite a lot of my videos. Not only that, but also backlog them as well. Especially my upcoming Mario Kart 8 review. Alright. With that being said, let's get the Symphonoids. Well, thankfully, I got enough money to get them. Well, I couldn't get them because I accidentally spent some of my money on that Seeker Gun, which is near to damn you. I don't really like the Seeker Gun because it, the power is just tremendously shit. Right, let's get to quick select and uh, select our good old um, Symphonoids. Oh, we've got, we're using the Dynamo, not the Dynamo. I think we need the Tractor Beam. Oh, for God's sake, stop going behind me, Super Slicers. Oh, oh, there those. What the heck? More Spider Pots? What? I thought I destroyed them! Well, apparently they become more and more powerful, much more ruthless this time around in the later part of the game. Whoop, there's a snow Dan. Well, that's based off the former employee Dan Johnson. And there's a skill point for whenever you actually destroy the snow Dan, you actually get the skill point. That's a good thing, isn't it? Now, this this one isn't too bad. In terms of difficulty, this isn't too bad, but it does get a bit too hectic. But upgrading your weapon, but it's a great way to upgrade your weapons if you don't fancy doing any of the challenges, as well as your uptech up nanotech upgrades. So why did you say uptech? Ah, oh, that was a bit another error of mine. But sometimes the shots can be a bit too cheap for the arachnoids, and it can really be so frustrating. All right, we got a lot of money. That being said, we're gonna go down. Oh, poor old Ratchet's really frozen to death. My goodness, how cold is it? Looks like a, looks like the latitude 88 north, I believe. No, oh, I picked the wrong weapon, didn't I? Picked the wrong gadget, didn't I? All right. Where's the track? Ah, oh, there it is. Right, we need the tractor beam. There we go. We need that. We need it in order to get two gold, the two platinum bolts in the stage. That being said, let's get that over to here. We need to get it. Ugh, I can't reach. Ugh, we need to get it a bit closer. There we go. 
Whee! And more spider bots? You gotta be kidding me. Get down. Alright, we got our platinum boat. And with that being said, let's get on with our second platinum boat. Whee! Alright, let's get it over there. Well, right, we're gonna get it over there because they, we, there's a glide down there and there's a place where you can actually do that. Uh, what the hell? Oh, for God's sake. I also die as well, so let's jump cut. Alright, we are back and I died, I died again during, that, uh, during the commotion against the spider bots. And apparently, when you do die, they actually resurrect, so you, all you have to do is to kill them again. But I also uh, waited to splash up somebody on the Megacorp, uh, those uh, vendors, so you can actually refill the ammo as well, which can be a bit bullshit, considering that the Ratchet and Clank future games actually replenish your ammo if you actually die. But that's 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 a, a way good, good way to save money as well. Anyway, with that being said, we got our Platinum Bolt, and Booyah! Platinum Bolt for us. And that's the second and final Platinum Bolt that we got. Alright, with that being said, let's get... Let's not waste any more time and let's go through that. Let's get through to the next area. Well, this is real... Now, this is a bit of a bullshit place to put your spider bots in. Now, apparently, my nanotech range... What, my nanotech um, upgrade range wasn't that great in order to... In order to destroy the enemies. I think I might have been out of range. Oh no, you're pointing it at the you're at the rock the wrong enemy you're pointing it at. You're you're supposed to shoot the arachnoids, not the not the ship. Okay, you know what I'm gonna use you know what sod it. I'm gonna use one of my um weapon more my mod more already upgraded weapons to get rid of those. In that case the Multistar. I call it the slicer because it slices anything up. There we go. We destroyed the comfort, the transport as well, so that's good. I need a lot of that money in order to get a, a new one of the more, more cute, more powerful guns in this game, the bouncer, which is unlocked next time in the next part. When you at the next stage, you unlock more weapons as you progressively go along, and the bouncer is unlocked at the next one. But I don't have enough money, so I need to quick wait that out. Anyway, with that being said, we're going on to a bunch of trucks, a bunch of lorries, and that means that we need, that will take us right to the feet. What we've got to do is to get to the front of those so we can actually confront the thief. But the thief is already there as well on his hoverboard, so all we've got to do is just try and destroy him. <coughs> Sorry, I... So I have a bit of a, um... So I've had a bit of a cough because I think I've lost too hard because I was seeing some clips of the TV show Freakazoid. Uh, some of the best moments as well. And my god, that show is funny. Thanks to Sassy Fraz for actually recommending me to see that series. I do appreciate it, mate. Whoa! That that was pathetic. How the hell did he go down that quickly? Oh no, I don't think he's dead yet, so I think he will counter us whenever we uh, get to our next place. It will counter us again at the uh, boss fight here in the area. Get yourself, get that crap out of here. Yeah, I'm talking to those uh, arachnoid bots, not at the audience, ladies and gentlemen, mind. Uh, right. Wee! What the hell? How did you try to get here? Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Let's get rid of him. Oh, we got him again. But apparently the truck goes and BAM! Spills its contents all over. And how in the hell didn't the anim did it animate as well? That makes no sense. <sighs> now we're going off against these uh, guys again. My god, this is really, really, really incredible. This, really, this stage really knows how to pull off the tricks. They're pulling off all the tricks. No, what the hell? Stop hitting me, you stupid slicers. Yes, I get... Uh, yes, I didn't realise that the uh, slicer behind me and 
and I try to get it behind him, but it just keeps on getting through my back. Fuckers. Right, let's uh, try and get replenish our ammo and let's fight off the thief. Oh, well, there's a rocket there. What's that for? Uh oh, it's the experiment. He's going to be transported into oblivion. You've lost, Megacorp. What? Imperialistic eco fascism to another dimension. Wait! Fascists? Me? What? Get it, Ratchet! Oh, for fuck's sake. Too slow. Corporate laggy. You bastard! Now you made Ratchet really angry. You pissed Ratchet off, so now you're gonna die. You're going to die. Right, Siphonoid, go. And apparently he, uh, apparently those, you do remember those turrets from the original game, well this time they actually have, you, they actually have grenade, they actually have fire pellets, or fire projectiles, so that you can actually get hit. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, we've destroyed the thief again. Yes! Dead. Bam! Boosh! You had us worried for a moment. Oh yeah. Do hey, where do you think you're going? Not worth it. Oh, we, we have for. got Let's what we came for. Back to Mr. Fizzwidget. Good idea, Ratchet. Spank? Is that what? You? Spank? We've accomplished our mission, sir. The experiment Ooh. is safe and in our possession. Ah, oh, that's great. Why, that's cutaneous! Absolutely what? munificent! What? You are a galactic team. We, we mean galactic team. team. We just need coordinates to our next rendezvous point. Ooh. Of course. I'm on my way to give a tour of Megacorp's historical mining site. Whoa! Back talk on the fragility. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. A tireless drum major leading the galaxy on its march of progress. Come tour our desert mining facility and see why our most precious product is our history. When we first arrived, we found a planet completely overrun by rainforest. To better accommodate the local wildlife, we transformed this impassable jungle into an easily navigable desert. Ever the technological pioneer, Megacorp invented the automated management team, thereby eliminating costly upward mobility. And all the while, making your life richer. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. Our march continues to the tune of progress and profitability. Call Investor Relations today. Is that facility ah. still operational, oh. sir? Alas, no. But it's oh, steeped dear. in hysterics. I've offloaded the condiments to your naval computer. Naval we'll computer? We'll see you there. Let's go. All right. We've retrieved our good old lovely little, um, a lovely little furry friend. So we have defeated the thief. And now we're off to Planet Tabora, where we will meet up with Fizzy Widget. And this is one of the most infamous parts of the get cutscenes hey, of the game. Here's Mr. Fizzwidget. Here he is. Wait, what is he doing? What is he doing? What the hell? What? Where's the experiment? What? That was our ship. Well, well said, Clank. Sure. What? So, do you have the uh, delivery? Right here. Come, gentlemen. There is precious little time. Precious little time? Just sit back and relax, boys. How about a little flying music? What the hell? Uh, this widget, you bastard! Idiot! What? He did that on purpose. Well put, Clank. He's just easily distracted. Easily distracted? Yes. Well. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Clank. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, with that being said, I will see you guys next time for when we uh, start off Planet Turbora and get out of the cave that we were put in because of Fitch Widget. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in part 10 of the Ratchet and Clank playthrough. Oh, Clank. What on earth? Ha ha ha.